morning prime family another day another fun project as you can tell it's nice and chilly out here in texas uh, we got a nice little cold spell come through and uh, that means uh, we're staying really busy out here providing that comfort for our homeowners out here so we had a really fun project here uh, today lined out uh, we have a lot of ductwork that we're going to be modifying of course it's going to be a new s series and a uh, two-stage heating system as well with that amvc communicating furnace um, as you can see right here we have part of our shop here we have a lot of filters a lot of uh, duct work uh, we're going to be taking these wise to the project as well and if you take a look right here we have a uh, test subject here this is our test dummy we're going to be dissecting this unit in future videos so you can see the internal parts of what makes the magic happen inside these units check out that install manual a lot of literature here a lot of guidelines we follow them to the t to make sure we provide you know the years of reliability this thing is known for so follow along we're about to load up a bunch of our stuff our guys should be arriving on the site so let's go check in with them all right guys so the equipment is here take a look at it everything's nice and bundled up super organized let's go take a look at the stuff we're taking out of this home check this thing out 25 year old train xl 1200 this thing is massive this thing was built like a tank 25 years of reliability here that's what we're shooting for with the new amana s series now you know the platform is going to be a lot smaller and this customer has um, some concerns with the storms and how texas you know we produce hail out here so we're going to try to fit it in under this overhang here now remember with the s series all we need is four inches from the back so it's going to fit perfectly right behind here i think it's going to work very well and the customer is going to be super happy we're here in the attic let's take a look around here tell me if you find any of these gems 1998 furnace here original we still have some original gray duct in here which if you know anything about the gray duct it tends to like to disintegrate as soon as you touch it so take a look at this frankenstein uh supply plenum here it looks like it's been modified a few times you know making sure that it was you know as sealed as, as it could be but for its age but uh, we're going to go with brand new plenums in here. Everything's going to be nice and smooth transitions like we always do. We're going to be eliminating a lot of these triangle boxes as well because we want to make sure we get the airflow right in here both for the reliability of the unit and for the customer's comfort as well. So I can't wait to see the finished product. It's going to be amazing. about the modifications and the flex duct here right take a look at this gray original duct it's easy as that to tear it away right also take a look at how everything's on the ground there's an oil trap over there with the loop being almost had an inverter loop right but we're gonna be bringing it up strapping it and making sure that we have a nice transition over into the evaporator coil because that's what the manufacturer calls for right that inverter loop for the s-series so all this gray duct going away no longer are we going to have you know the liability of it flaking out like that so as we line out our uh, install team here we like to take a look and see what we can improve right so one thing that really sticks out to us is our gas lines and our drain lines so as you can tell right here we have our original gas line which is not strapped super loose so we're going to be modifying that a little bit to make sure we have you know everything nice and secure and it's there's no chance of any kind of uh, problems with that gas line also our drain line it's almost like a, a guitar string right there we're going to be rerouting that as well making sure we have a good nice clear path for it to prevent any kind of blockage or any kind of trips that you know you don't want to stumble up here as well so we got to make sure everything's right for the customer and for the life of the unit
Okay guys, through the magic of YouTube, we are here. It is now four o'clock. Come check this thing out. Coming out great, isn't it? It hangs right underneath this overhang here, just like we talked about. Smooth transition in the back. Brand new uh, disconnect right here with the surge protector. And inside here, we house the breaker. Easy access, perfect. All within the uh, state regulations and municipal uh, guidelines. Uh, we went ahead and connected, brazed uh, all our copper using nitrogen flowing through there. We have our kit here. Now this kit includes the hose, the core remover, and the nitrogen uh, regulator in there for easy. I mean, we just have to bring it here every time. That way we utilize it every time. What's the number we are always looking for on the vacuum? I say we're there. So we're getting ready to open this thing back up. Um, pretty happy with the way it's coming out. You see the pea gravel down there so we can level everything out. We're ready to go outside. Let's go check inside. Would you look at that? Nice and secure. Welcome to the unfinished project. We are still working very hard, arduously working to make sure this thing gets nice and set by the end of the day today. Take a look around. Our furnace is nice and uh, suspended already on the hung right kit. Like always, we included an April air filter as well as a matching metal plenum out there. John is in the back over there sealing everything up, making sure everything's airtight. Inside the unit, um, you already know the features that we've been including with all of our other installations. And today we feature a brand new Big Goose or BG 101. This is the latest and greatest uh, float switch for our drain pan. This is designed to trip with even less water because less water is less weight and less weight means less potential danger for the ceiling downstairs, which we want to stay clear of. So really happy with the way things are going right now. Um, we still got a lot of mess to clean up, but we're getting ready to turn, on, turn it over into overdrive here and uh, make sure that everything is done by the end of the day today. So stick around. Okay guys, my battery ran out on the microphone, but I want to show you the finished product here. As you can see right here, we have our brand new ducts, uh, brand new plenum here. Everything is nice and strapped, hung every three feet, up to the joist, out of the way. Uh, moving over to the drain line, we have our new BG101 uh, drain pan switch, along with our uh, EZ trap there. Everything is well insulated. And uh, we have a brand new 36 by 36 drain pan as well. Uh, you can check out our cabling there going down and uh, also our new gas line here that we modified a little bit. Um, as always, in the back we have our April Air. Um, best filtration system in the market. Uh, so you can check this out here, the little inverter loop. And uh, that is it for the inside. Everything looks very well. Came out really nice. Customer was super happy about this one. Okay guys, let's go check out the S-Series. So like we always do, went ahead and leveled it out with the gravel. We have our heavy concrete pad right there. The S-Series is nice and bolted down with some concrete anchors. New disconnect, new surge protector as always, new whip. Uh, copper is new from there everything is nice and sealed watertight perfect finished product here looks amazing customer was super happy and uh, it's gonna provide years of service man it's it's awesome nice and quiet like we know as always thank you for watching the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe we'll catch you on the next one prime family